All right. So here we will talk about another very important method that is flat map. Now, when should we go for flat map and when should we go for map? This is very important to understand and identify. We should go for map if we are given like a list or a set or map of elements. But if we are given list of list or set of set, map of map, then flat map will help us. So for example, let me take arrays dot as list and within this list, all the elements are themselves a list. So let's say one, two, three, this is one list. And basically we are taking list of integers as list, let's say four, five, six. And the last list is arrays dot as list seven, eight, nine. So we have a list which is containing three different lists, right? Let me introduce a local variable and store into. So this is number lists. We can call number lists. So basically it is a list of list of integers. Now, if you want to process these elements, how we can do that. Now in this way, uh, you know, flat map is going to help us because flat map is not only going to transform the element, it is also going to flatten them. Okay. How let's see that. So number list dot stream and then call flat map again, flat map is an intermediate operation. It takes a function. All right. Now, since these all elements are a list, we have to call a list and convert them all into a stream. So basically what we are doing is to flatten, we are calling list and then converting them into a stream, then collect them. So basically this is going to give us the, a single flattened list store into a local variable. These are numbers. Now if I print them. Uh, this is a list. Save and run this. Now this list has got flattened. So this is the benefit of using flat map, right? And since this list numbers list has a list inside. So we had to call a list of something. Now, why did we call stream? Because stream will be able to make them all as a stream so that we get a flattened list, right? Now we can print them. So to print them, we can go ahead with a loop. So these are of numbers, number, and this list is a numbers. And then in that print number. Now save this and run this we can see all these elements are printed, right? So this is how we can use flat map with list of lists. Now we will see a one more example in the next uh, session, you know, when we have a custom, uh, you know, object. So instead of this in teasers, we have a custom object, custom class object, then how we are going to use this flat map method. All right.